First, I'm going to address what everyone probably wants to know. What is gaming mode? You can find it in the software's dashboard. When you buy this drive out of the box, there's some power saving functions within it, um, which can cause latency when you're gaming. Gaming mode, when switched on, will turn off the power saving function. So it will keep your SSD at full speed, firing on all cylinders at all the time. The dashboard gives you a quick view of such things as the model, the drive health firmware version, and security and different notifications that you may receive from time to time. It's good practice to check for firmware updates every now and then, which you can find in the tools tab, but we'll get to that later. The status tab. This is where you're going to find the basic information about your drive. You can check out the overall capacity. You can make sure that you're running at the right speed as far as PCIe lanes go. You can even check the temperature of your drive. And there's this little nifty life remaining bar. Who knows how accurate that thing is, but mine's still at 100%. I hope it is. It's only three days old. Moving on to the Performance tab. In here, you can see your drive's performance in real time. Notice when I begin the benchmark test that the graph begins to draw itself in real time. This is a really useful monitoring tool if you're constantly benchmarking. The Tools tab. This tab contains subcategories such as drive management and diagnostics. This is where you're going to go to update the firmware on your SSD. Also, if you want to do a full drive erase, you can do that here too. Just make sure the driver you're using supports it. Under diagnostics, you're going to see the smart function. The smart diagnostic is a short test that checks the integrity of the drive to make sure it's running smoothly. Under advanced information, you're going to see an enormous amount of information about your SSD. Stuff I have no idea what it even is. LBA format? Relative performance of L... I, I don't know. I don't even know if anybody needs to know this stuff. Again, we see a drive summary right here in the middle. It's good to have a little redundancy inside the software. The Settings tab. The Settings tab is pretty straightforward. You can check for application updates, not to be confused with the actual SSD's firmware updates, and change startup options. the help tab and yet again this is another very convenient tab you can get links directly to the support page also links directly to the user forums and to the user manual you can also register your SSD and ask a question to customer service here I don't know why more companies don't follow suit here this help tab is probably the most useful tab in the whole software. There's just so much in one area. And if you don't already know, the WD Black SN750 is the second generation of its kind. There was one before this. The only difference between the last gen WD Black and the new SN50 WD Black is that the newer one has a brand new firmware to keep it running as fast as possible. That's the only difference between these two drives, is a firmware update. And of course, the new redesigned software interface. They rebranded the looks a little bit. I think it looks a lot better. To demonstrate the speed of this drive, I installed the new Resident Evil game onto it. Let's see how fast this thing can load into game.
Ready? Go! Oh yeah, this thing is definitely faster than all my SATA SSDs. Yeah, that was super fast. Oh, no. Let's uh, take a look at that again, and this time I'm going to try to count the seconds. Ready? Go! Alright, and there you have it. 2.3 seconds to load into a brand new game in 1440p. Not bad.